to make love to the microphone so the people in the back can hear me. Can the people in the back hear me? Yeah! Fantastic. So, I'm the American woman in London who helps Irish women. <laughs> and a lot of people say, why did you set up this organization to help women from Ireland and Northern Ireland who are forced to travel to England to access illegal abortion? And I say, that's a stupid question. <laughs> the question is, why do we allow ourselves to live in a society in 2011 where women are forced to be treated like criminals to get a medical procedure? <laughs> that is the question. We're a new organization. We're all volunteers. We're not campaigners necessarily. We're just people who feel that this is a gross injustice that women with money in Ireland and Northern Ireland and in some parts of England have options when it comes to reproductive health and choice and women without money do not have options. <laughs> and then you add the extra difficulty that women in Ireland and Northern Ireland have which is, do I have a passport? Do I have a credit card? Do I have a driver's license? Can I take a day off work? Can I lie to my partner? Can I lie to my kids? Can I find childcare? Can I travel six hours to the nearest airport? Can I afford a last minute plane ticket? How do, I, how do I know which clinic in England is closest to what airport? And how do I know which clinic is a real clinic and which clinic is a church? And how do I know, how do I know, how do I know? And what about these people chasing me down the street in Belfast screaming murderer, murderer, murderer because I happen to walk past the, NIF, the Northern Irish Family Planning Association. I came from a feminist background, not because of any of those reasons, but because I feel an abortion is a choice that should be made between a woman and an unbiased healthcare provider and where appropriate with her partner and her God, and that's it. It's not my business if she has a baby. It's not your business. It's not David Cameron's business. It's not the Pope's business. She was looking, okay. <laughs> so all I want to say is campaigning is fantastic and it's great work and all of you, well done. But we really need to talk about abortion. I like to call myself a pro-choice civilian. Being pro-choice isn't necessarily for people about placards and protests. We need to make abortion part of the regular conversation and our everyday rights. It's not just for fringe, lefty, socialist, love you all. But it's for everyone. It's for one in three women, which means one in three families, which means our mothers and our sisters and our daughters. My daughter is in the back wearing her Trust Women uh, badge. She's four, but she knows that mommy gives her choices. <laughs> Let's fight Frank Giffords. I can't vote in this country, but the rest of you can. And in the meantime, if you're interested in hearing about Irish women, check out the website, <laughs> abortionsupport.org.uk, and keep up the good fight. Woo!